Hey everybody, this is David Oaknob Farm. I've uh, had a little more chance to work on the chicken coop since my last video, and I wanted to give you guys a little update on my progress. I've dug six little pits. They don't have to be that deep. This thing's going to be self-supporting anyways. I just want the, the fence to extend out of the ground a little bit so the posts need to. For that, I got my six posts all lined up over here. A couple of two-by-fours. I got some of my scrap wood on here that I'm going to use to support my posts as I start leveling them up and cutting them off. Got the uh, next four feet added to the coop. I got eight more to go. So I got some nice top plates to put on, some posts, and all those diagonal braces will come off when everything's all shirred up. Put on here with the first post in there. And I got to put the end post in. I just got this one barely braced in and just barely tacked in, but it's starting to rain. So I'll be back. I got the last of the posts up for the outdoor run. So like I said, I'll have a 6x12 outdoor run, and uh, there's the, the coop at that end. I'll get the big braces up on the outside corners. So after I get some of the collar ties on and things, I think I can start pulling the uh, the temporary diagonals off. And uh, I think it should be stiff enough at that point, so we'll see. Well, that's another Saturday of milling. That fi the last five logs to chop up into some into some wood for the coop. Let's hope I make it and have enough. Five more timbers. These ones are a lot big, bigger than last time. I got some nice 10-inch ones. Uh, two sixes and eight and uh, two tens. So time to start slapping them up. Um, I have a nice pile of two by tens. Uh, about six two by sixes and three two by eights. These are all going to get ripped down to two by six and two by four, which should hopefully be the last lumber I need to finish up the coop. That's what I'm doing: chopping these two by tens into a, a stack of two by fours and a stack of two by sixes. And I'm going to continue on through my pile and get the appropriate size wood. A scant hour later, I have a nice pile of two by fours over here, and I laid out the two by sixes over there, which is a nice looking little deck over there. Almost makes me want to go build a cabin, but I guess that'll have to wait. Alright, moving on. Let's take stock of what we have here. I came up with this nice little pile of 2x4s th this weekend. These 2x6s over here. I have another new layer of 2x6s over here on top of all the siding material, which is uh, 1x8. And the leftovers from last week's project uh, milling is uh, this pile of 2x6s there. So I'm pretty sure I've got enough lumber now to finish up. The next step, which is I'm going to cut more to collar ties. So my collar ties are going to go every two feet, two by fours, all the way across, out to here. So let me get cutting. Alright, well, I'm a six foot tall guy, so the height of this works out pretty good. I'm not going to bump my head on anything. I've got uh, pretty much all the collar ties put on, except for the, the ones at the end and the ones that line up with the wall, the wall rafters, because those I have to tweak a little bit as, as they go in. But yeah, I think I'm going to put one more diagonal brace in, uh, similar to these ones, right at the middle. So at this post here, which helps stiffen things up a little bit. And then it's time to put. Uh, horizontal bracing all the way around to attach the wire. I think I'm going to put the, the mesh on before I put on the rafters because the uh, rafter tails are going to kind of cover the very top bit of the mesh. So I think it'll be easier to staple it on before I put the rafters up. But we'll see. But uh, that's it for this, ep this episode, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, check back. This thing's uh, moving right along now.